Thank you for joining us again on our program, Pray TV. My wife Charlotte is here. Charlotte, say hi. We just are so thankful for those of you who are responding to the program. Even just a little sentence, it doesn't have to be much. Uh, this week we were hearing from people overseas, we were hearing from people from Canada, and also some dear friends who live here locally. And it's just an encouragement to our hearts to know that God is speaking through His Word, through our times together of prayer, that He is focusing us on some of the things that really matter the most, especially in these times. You know, Charlotte, I just know that you're aware of this, and I think I've said it on a program or two before, how that Psalm 119 is actually my favorite portion of Scripture in that, that it has that verse 165 in it, and that verse it spoke to my spirit so long ago, and it helped me really be able to find that place of quiet, great peace of they that love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. We're looking at Psalm 119, but we're going to go to a different portion. We're going to read verses 126 through 134. It is time for you to act, Lord. Your law is been broken. Because I love your commands more than gold, more than pure gold, and because I consider all your precepts right, I hate every wrong path. Your statutes are wonderful, therefore I obey them. The unfolding of your words give light. It gives understanding to the simple. I open my mouth and pant, longing for your commands. Turn to me and have mercy on me, as you always do to those who love your name. Direct my footsteps according to your word. Let no sin rule over me. Redeem me from human oppression, that I may obey your precepts. Charlotte, maybe you would just add a comment to this. There's so much here of, of depth and richness in these scriptures, but some of the things that really the Lord's been speaking to me is that it is really time to see His mighty hand. Um, Isaiah talks, oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down. And those are the cries of our hearts this day, that we would see God just move on the scene. And I believe that God is. And I think we will see the hand of the Lord moving mightily. God is not indifferent to what is going on. He is not just standing back. He is very, very much involved. And His law has been broken. I, I was sharing with you, Brant, just the other night, how when we took the Word of God here in America out of our school systems and we just um, abolished the hearing of the Word of God. There is such a dearth right now of the hearing of the Word of God. And how can people be like David? How can we love God's commands more than gold even if we don't even know what the commands are, if we don't even know what His precepts are? We just really have wandered onto paths that have taken us far from the Lord astray from what He ever intended us and where He ever intended us to be. The entrance of His words do give life and light, and we just want to see more and more light come into the hearts and lives of people around the world. It can only do that through the Word of God and the presence of God. So we are pressing on to know the Lord, our desire is to make him known, and we're going to pray to that end. Charlotte, if you'll allow me, I'm going to begin our time in prayer. Holy Spirit, we thank you. We thank you for your word. Lord, we thank you even for this Psalm 119, where over and over again it draws us to your word. It speaks almost every verse about your word. 
Lord, we love your word. We've learned to love your word because it is a lamp to our feet, a light to our path. It shows us where we are wrong, where we have failed. It shows us our sinful ways so that we can no longer walk in them. We can no longer really abide with sinful ways because you are transforming us and changing us. And you do this to bring glory to your name, O oh Lord. I pray that every person who with us today is praying and is knitting their hearts together, Lord, that we would be able to enter in collectively into this sense of your presence because of your word, the cleansing of your word to our souls, the enlightening of our souls through this revelation. God, take us more into your presence. Charlotte, would you just continue our time with prayer here? Lord, we thank you that your word is honored above even your own name. And we pray again, God, for the declaration of your word, God, your pure and holy word. Lord, we repent for the ways that we have tried to make it mean something different or twisted it, Lord, to suit our own ends. Father, we just pray that you would give your people throughout the world, God, such a hunger, such a thirst, Lord, for your word. God, that we would nourish ourselves in it and God, it would just would be, like, be like a river in us that we could not contain it like Jeremiah spoke, that we would declare it, Lord, and we would declare it with compassion. But Lord, we ask that your truth once again, God, will rule and reign. And Father, we just ask, Lord, we know, God, we know that you are responding to the prayers of your people, God, we know, Lord, that you are getting us ready, Lord. You are causing us, Lord, to search our hearts, Lord, and to come into relationship with you that is pure, Lord. And we just ask, God, that you continue your cleansing work. Prepare your people. Get us ready, Lord, so that you can act and for what the things that you are going to do. And we just agree and we say thank you, Lord. It is time for you to act. We call you, Lord, to action in our season on this earth. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.